but they do have Kenny Arnold to step in for him, and Kenny Arnold's done a great job for Rudolph Olsen's ball club. The problem is replacing Kenny Arnold at his position because he's a great out shooter. In fact, without Lester, he's the leading scorer. But, of course, none of this means anything because, like Lou Henson has told us, sometimes you play better when your best player's not there. Everybody else picks up the slack, and that might happen tonight. We should have a good basketball game. Well, the Illini are fresh off the championship at the Rainbow Classic out in Honolulu. And there were some encouraging developments out there, Dan, especially with the offensive center position. 13 points apiece in the championship game against Hawaii from Derek Holcomb and from James Griffin, and that's the most they've scored combined in a ball game all year. 26 points. They also got a lot of rebounds. And Illinois is definitely going to need that big center play when they go up against the likes of Mr. Steve Wade tonight and Joe Barry Carroll later on, Herb Williams of Ohio State, and there's so many good centers in the Big Ten. And we won't see Mark Smith in the Illinois starting lineup tonight. I don't know if Mark was watching the Rose Bowl or what, but he missed <laughs> practice on Tuesday, New Year's Day, after the Illini got back from Honolulu. And missing practice does not sit well with Coach Lou Henson, so Mark will not be in the starting lineup, but I'm sure we'll see him before too long. Okay, we'll be back to set the starting lineups for this Big Ten opener. Ronnie Lester certainly played a big role in both those games. He certainly did. He was a guy that did just about everything for the Hawkeyes in both of them. Corners, and that's how Iowa got by the Illini, both here and over in Iowa City. And he won't be here to run that tonight, but as we said, Kenny Arnold will be, and he's done a fine job filling in so far. Referees for this evening's game, Ed Marisich from Calumet Park, Illinois, Darwin Brown from Middletown, Ohio, and Mike Stockner rounds out the crew for the Big Ten tonight. The Big Ten season opens tonight with action throughout the conference. Of course, Iowa at Illinois here, Indiana at Ohio State at a big one, Minnesota at Michigan, Northwestern at Wisconsin, Purdue at Michigan State, and Ohio State has quite a start opening against Indiana and then Purdue, so thanks. How crazy will it be in St. John Arena tonight? <laughs> We're ready for the starting lineups. And we've been given a variety of lineups for the Iowa Hawkeyes. We'll see who finally makes their appearance. First out is Vince Brookins. He'll be wearing number 32. He's a 6'5 junior from Collinwood High School in Cleveland. He's averaging 10 points a game. Now for the Illini, I've been introduced to the other side. Eddie Johnson, number 33, a 6'8 junior from Chicago Westinghouse, averaging 17 points a game. Now back to Iowa. Here's number 44, Mark Gannon, a freshman from Iowa City, 6'6", 215 pounds, averaging five points a game. And Neil Bresnahan being introduced for the Illini, number 31, 6'6", 200 pounds, senior from Fenwick High School at Oak Park. Here's Steve Waite, 6'10", junior center from West High School of Iowa City, averaging six points a game. Big center, number 52. And here's number 13 for the Illini, James Griffin, 6'10", sophomore from Fort Worth, averaging 10 points a game. Here's Kenny Arnold, number 30, 6'2", sophomore from Calumet High School in Chicago, averaging 13 points a game and leading the team in assists. Next up for Illini, Reno Gray, number 10, 6'2", senior from Chicago. And number 40 for Iowa, Kevin Boyle. Normally a forward, he'll be starting in the guard tonight. 6'6", sophomore from Chicago St. Lawrence. And last out, Rob Jetson, a 6'2", senior from Zion Benton, getting the start tonight for the Illini. That's the guard combination, Dave, that Illinois went to out in Honolulu instead of Kevin Bon Temps and Reno Gray or Kevin and Perry Range. He wanted to get a little bit more offense in there. And I really don't know how that worked out. The guards didn't score a lot of points, but they sure were successful out there winning those three games. So Lou's going to stick with the same backcourt tonight. Dan, we're going to welcome our neighboring state of Iowa tonight. Fans over there watching this evening on KCRG in Cedar Rapids and on Hawkeye Cablevision in Des Moines. Joining our fans across central Illinois for this launching of the Big Ten basketball season. Iowa, nine wins, no defeats. The Illini, ten wins, two defeats. And you have to say the Illini played a little tougher schedule going up against the likes of Brigham Young, Louisville, Marquette, and Missouri. Iowa's last outing against Drake that they won at home. Iowa always tough at Iowa City. And the Illini trying to establish some kind of an advantage at home. They've lost both games that they've lost this year have been at home. And tonight, the U of I students are still not back in force, still on semester break, so not quite a capacity crowd at the assembly hall. We're set to play basketball now with James Griffin jumping against Steve Waite.
There's a tip from Elon. I have it. Rob Jetson over to Reno Gray. We're underway at the assembly hall. Kenny Arnold on Gray. This is Jetson with the ball back to Reno. Well, that was straight up hard nose man to man. Bresnan look, shoots. Rimmed it. Kevin Boyle with the rebound for the Hawkeyes, and here they come. That's the advantage of a big guard, Dave. He can go to the boards. Gannon threw the ball away, but picked up by Arnold. Illinois is also straight up man to man. Gray has Arnold out front. There's a mismatch right there, Kevin Boyle and Rob Judson. Ball taken away by Griffin, slapped it away from Steve Waite. Bresnan looped the pass into Griffin, but off his fingertips, and the ball goes right back to Iowa. I think everybody's just a little bit tight starting out here. <laughs> and I got to do a little pressing. Lou Dolson, coach of the Hawkeyes, now in his sixth year with a 90 and 56 record at Iowa. He's had three winning seasons in his five previous years. This is Brookins for the Hawkeyes. Going to jump it long, and he hit it. Vince Brookins gets the first two points of the game. It's Iowa 2, Illinois nothing. This Iowa team, good shooting team, and especially at the free throw line. They killed Illinois last year at the charity strike, and Ronnie Lester did most of that. Although a guy named Paith and a guy named Norman added to it. They're gone through graduation. Gray puts it up, no good, short. That's Gannon with the rebound. Iowa fell back in the zone that time, Dave. Maybe they're going to go zone after they score. All their defenses. Missed the shot, tip up, no good. Next one, no good. And James Griffin finally comes down with it for the Illini. Illinois still not on the scoreboard yet. We've played a minute and a half. Iowa may not be big. They have two 6'6 six, six players and a 6'5 in Brooks. They really hit the boards, and they're going to be tough tonight. Here's Griffin. James Griffin makes it 2-2. Two two. Does it put a soft shot off the board? And he got loose in the lane. Uh, Wade came over to try to cut the pass off. Couldn't do it. Nobody could get there in time to help out. Brookins traveled. Well, Dan, you look at the two losses Illinois suffered this year to Missouri and Marquette. And it was super guards that did it to them. And there's another look at the old feet shuffling routine. So there's the turnover. Well, Illinois has a chance to go on top. You remember Drew from No more destroyed the Illini. Of course, Daryl Griffith in Louisville. There's Griffin. Puts it up. That's four for James and four for Illinois. They lead 4-2. Illinois patiently working that ball into the big man. This is Gannon, the freshman for Iowa. Boyle, same much product, hooks it up and hit it. Short jump shot by Kevin Boyle. It's 4-4. Four -four. Well, we mentioned Mark Smith out of the lineup because of uh, a violation of training rules, but when Mark comes back in, don't be surprised if they bring him in for a guard and try to get him on Kevin Boyle, Boyle. to ease off that mismatch. There's Rob in the corner. Threw it away. Actually, good defense by Iowa. Here's Brookins. He almost lost it. Gets it back, puts it up, and then missed. Jets it up with it. Here come the Illini. Illinois 4, Iowa 4. Eddie Johnson touched the ball for the first time, I think. Eddie had 30 in the championship game against Hawaii out in the Rainbow Classic. Bresnan drives and puts it in there. He'll press the hand. That's your basic strong move to the hoop. He went right by Steve Waite and put it in. Bresnan makes it 6-4. to four. We've played nearly four minutes and no fouls yet. Pass loop to Waite. Puts it up. No good. Missed everything. Eddie Johnson with the rebound. And again, the Illini. Showing some good defense on that one. Reno Gray underneath. And walks it back. Feed to Griffin. Couldn't find the handle. Griffin travels. And we have a timeout on the floor. We're at 15.52 to go in the first half. The score, Illinois 6, Iowa 4. And Iowa four. Four points for James Griffin, two for Neil Bresnahan from the Illini. The game has really yet to take on a pattern. The 
Illini starting without Mark Smith tonight. He'll be in there, though. Here comes Perry Raines to replace either Reno Gray or Rob Judson. Rob Judson. Judson sits down. So Reno Gray, or Perry Range is in there, the sophomore from South Beloit. He'll be wearing number 22. That'll help the mismatch on Kevin Boyle. I'm sure Perry will have him. Very little taller. <laughs> Brookins passed to Waite, puts it up, and in. Vince Brookins feeding Steve Waite. It's 6-6. Come the line, Reno Gray. Gonna jump it. And get dropped. Didn't know how that thing could stay out. Finally, it fell back in. They tried to get out of there. Reno Gray puts it in 8 to 6, Illinois. This is Arnold in the corner with Reno Gray on him. Almost five minutes into the game, they've shut Arnold out so far. Of course, it Iowa shut off Eddie Johnson. Neither of Polaris scored. They're both leading both teams. And Johnson has hardly touched the ball. This is Brookins. We've got something called underneath. The first foul of the game is going to be on Perry Range. Now well, that's the mismatch problem. Kevin Boyle at 6'6 six -six is trying to post up Perry down low. And you'll see it, the pass going over to Brookins. And there's the post. And the foul's called as Perry got an arm on Kevin. No shot. They'll take it out of bounds. That's the first foul of the game. Arnold passing in. This is Brookins. Arnold with the ball, former star at Calumet High School in Chicago. There he pops along, no good. Bresnan waits for the rebound, and he's fouled over the shoulder by Vince Brookins. Neal just patiently waited for that one to come down. As usual, Brez had good position on the inside. He's one of the best rebounders you'll see. That's why he was featured in that Sports Illustrated article on blocking out <laughs> under the boards. The one with your picture right behind <laughs> Just jumped right out of there at you, didn't I you? didn't mean for, <laughs> for that to come out. <laughs> Resnahan to Eddie Johnson. Puts it up. And no good. He forced it up there. Range picks it up and puts it in. Boy, Eddie got hammered on the inside that time. He was sandwiched and no foul was called. But Range was there for the follow. Brookins. And Wake travels. Brookins slipped the pass inside, but Steve Waite carried the ball. That was a nice pass by Vince Brookins. Uh, Waite had the ball. Had he gotten a hold of it and turned on the inside and taken it to the hoop, he could have scored easily. But he couldn't find it. Now Illinois is kind of taking to, uh, command here. Illinois 10, Iowa 6, Illinois ball. Going to have Steve Krasison come into the game soon for the Hawkeyes. Res the hand to Griffin. Going to be a foul. Steve Waite picks yeah. it up. Foul on Waite before the shot. That was like... Face guarding in the NFL, Dave. Wade didn't know where the basketball was. If you can see that on the replay, he's turned all the way around and Griff was wide open. Steve was leaning on him a little bit. So Wade picks up his first. Here's Craftsman coming in with a big bandage around his right thigh and knee. Lou Olson told me earlier in the season that uh, Steve is a little bit injury prone and he's had a various assortment of ailments. Jumper by Gray Short. Johnson high for the rebound. Puts it up and in. A beautiful play by Eddie Johnson. It was not a simple turnaround shot. <laughs> well, Eddie's on the board. 12-6. Illinois doubled the score here in the early going. 13-55 to go in the first half. Neglected to say that Waite sat down. Here's Craftsison. Puts it up there and in. Steve Craftsison, a junior from Chicago St. Lawrence, transferred from North Carolina. From North Carolina State. Illinois 12, Iowa 8. Illinois is back in the zone. I think they're switching almost every time they score. Eddie, Griffin, he's fouled. And Brookins picks it up. Nice quick pass by Eddie along the baseline. And we'll get another chance to see the foul that's going to send Griffin to the line. A good pass by Eddie Johnson. And there you see Griff, uh, still a young player. He's got some things to learn yet, Dave. When you get the ball down there, you take it straight to the basket. He was kind of fading away a little bit. He's going to have to learn to go up strong and put that thing in or else put it right up off the board and get it down quick. Griffin at the free throw line, 11 out of 19 for the season. He's got two shots coming up. And first one's good. 13 to eight. Boy, it's quiet here. <laughs> sure is. Not very many people here at all. And the students still away on the semester break. Griff puts it in again. It's 14 to eight. Six point lead again for the Illini. And Iowa down quickly with the ball. Kevin Boyle. From the corner, Vince Brookins, 14 to 10. Now the Illini coming back fast. Oh, 
Secondary range outside to Gray. Had an ocean. Now range drive shoots too hard. Griffin's going to get the rebound though. Back to Gray. So we'll start over again. Iowa still in the zone. Range looks inside. Loops the pass to Gray. He fires. Too hard. Bresnahan in there for the rebound, but it goes out of bounds. Neal came crashing through. And the score stays 14 to 10. 12.35 to go in the first half. We have yet to see Mark Smith for the Illini. This is Gannon. Puts it up there. Mark Gannon just muscled it up there. A 6'6 freshman from Iowa City, an all-stater at Iowa. 14 to 12. Gray to Griffin, foul called. Gonna be on Kenny Arnold. Yeah, Kenny Arnold got him. Reno's giving it a stretch over there, kind of banged up his back. He went up in the air. That was pretty close call, really. Reno went up in the air on it. I don't know if Kenny was positioned properly or not, but he got the personal, and Illinois is going to inbound it. That's four team fouls in the Hawkeyes. Johnson open. Missed everything, but Presnan's there for the rebound. No good. Blocked by Boyle. Iowa down with it. Arnold jumps long. And he misses again, but the rebound is good. I think that was Craftsman. Boy, Craftsman gave Eddie Johnson a shot to the chest with an elbow that time. This game is tied at 14 with 11.43 to go in the first half. And Mark Smith getting set to come in for the first time for Illinois. Uh, we'll get Mark loose in the middle and make some, uh, make some things happen on offense, hopefully. Too long in the lane for the Illini. Turnover gives the ball back to Iowa. The Hawkeyes now with a chance to take the lead. And we have a timeout on the floor with 11.27 to go in the first half. The score is even at 14. Illinois 14, Iowa 14. Well, Lou Henson's going to go to his bench with the score 14-14. Derek Holcomb has come in at center. Number 44, the 6 the 11 junior from Peoria Richwoods and Mark Smith. Also from Richwood, 6'7", Jr. is now in the game for the first time. Mark did not start because he missed a practice Tuesday. So line out with Gray and Judson is back in at guard. So Gray and Judson at the guards. Johnson, Smith at the forwards, and Holcomb at center. No changes for Iowa after that timeout. We're dead even at 14. Arnold has yet to hit from the field. Boyle, and he fell down. Traveling violation, the Illini get the ball. His teams have a combined record of 19 and two this year. Iowa undefeated coming into this one. Hawkeyes didn't score that time down, so they're back to a man-to-man -man defense. Eddie Johnson and Vince Brookins, now Gray and Arnold. A veteran Illini lineup in there now. Gray to Jensen. Eddie Jensen takes the shot and misses. And Boyle has the rebound. And a foul coming up against Mark Smith under the bucket. Oh, Mark going for the basketball. Must have caught an arm in there. Talked about Bresnahan's rebounding. You see Kevin Boyle in there all night long, too. And we also talked about Bres being in Sports Illustrated. Well, Kevin Boyle was right there, too. Right. <laughs> He's a heck of a defensive player. Position and timing, two important ingredients in their success in rebounding. That was a second team foul in Illinois. Just coming up to the 10-minute mark in a low-scoring game, 14-14. Here's Arnold popping long. Again, he misses. Rebound, Boyle is good. He's fouled. And that sends Iowa ahead 16-14 and a chance for a three-pointer. Yes, Derek Holcomb picked up the foul, swinging. Oh, Eddie Johnson, Johnson got it. It was against Brookins. He fouled Brookins, so Iowa gets the ball out of bounds. Yeah, after the shot. So a chance for a four-point play, actually. Arnold inbounds to Mark Gannon. Here's Brookins. Arnold tried to feed, and the ball thrown away. Boyle comes up with it for Iowa. 
on that trying to break. Right idea. Brookens almost traveled. Here's Arnold. Ball slapped away, but Rod Jetson. He just took it right away from Vince Brookens. And Gray just lost it to Boyle. Not Arnold, back to Boyle, and he stuffed it. 18-14 Iowa. The lead is four, the biggest lead of the game for them. And man to man starting to make things happen. Iowa sticking with it, even though they did score that time. Eddie Johnson with just two points so far in the game. Hulk of underneath the Smith, who puts it up and in. That's what the Illini have to do. I can't believe they didn't call a technical foul on that. Kevin Boyle leaped up and just grabbed the rim and hung on it, and no call. Lou Hitson reminding the referee about that. 18-16 with 9.22 to go in the first half. Lou is on this far away. How'd they miss it? This is Brookins. Ball tapped away by Smith. That's off of Brookins. And it's a line eye ball. Uh, Lou Hinson likes that one. Great defensive play by Mark Smith. Here's another look at some quick hands. Bounced the ball, and Brookins hit it last and went out of bounds right in front of us, and Illinois has got a chance to tie. Mark Smith. Holcomb pass in the Jets a nice short but Iowa has the ball 